For five days, Mrs. Lucie Plamondon, 62, has been hospitalized on the medical ward after suffering from a stroke in the left hemisphere. This stroke caused neurological damage, including a weakened hemicorpus, decreased motor skills, dysphagia, and hemianopsia. Mrs. Plamondon can understand instructions well, but she has trouble speaking. Her care plan aims for reinstating oral feeding starting this morning. It is 8 a.m. and you are starting your first round. At the beginning of each shift, it is important for the nurse to introduce herself to each user. She states her name and position and reassures the user by indicating what will happen next. Hi, Mrs. Slamondo. My name is Mary. I'll be your nurse for today. Hi. So, did you sleep well? Yeah, not bad. Okay. The user's motor symptoms appear on her right side since her left hemisphere was affected by the stroke. The nurse inquires about the user's sleep as part of her assessment. In the case of a stroke, when there is neurological damage, it is important that the nurse asks one question at a time. The instructions have to be simple and concise to be understood more easily. The nurse can repeat them as needed. So, I will now take your vital signs and neurological signs, if you allow me. Yeah, okay. The nurse assesses the IV insertion site while she takes the user's blood pressure. She observes whether there is pain, heat, or swelling. She also evaluates the venous yeah. return. Yeah. Okay. She verifies that the infusing solution is the one prescribed, that it is infusing at the correct rate, and notes the amount of solution remaining in the infusion bag, in order to plan when it will have to be replaced. The assessment of the neurological signs follows the Glasgow Coma Scale. It comprises spontaneous opening of the eyes, verbal response, and motor response. The possible results when assessing the opening of the eyes are spontaneous, response to verbal stimuli, response to pain, or no response. In this case, it is spontaneous. Okay, so your blood pressure is normal. Can okay. you tell me uh, where we are at the moment? We're in the hospital medical care unit. Yes, very good. Yeah. Okay, and uh, can you tell me what date it is? Uh, December 13th. Very good. Yeah. The nurse evaluates the user's verbal response <coughs> after asking her where she is. She can then assess the user's orientation in the three spheres, time, place, and space. She also verifies if the user's words and ideas are incoherent or disorganized. Can you try and squeeze my hands as strong as you can? Very good. Thank you. Motor response is evaluated by asking the user to lift an arm or a leg, for example. In addition, the nurse must test the strength of the lower and upper limbs. She must assess the affected and healthy sides simultaneously in order to measure the difference in strength and mobility. Okay, um, so I will place my hands here. Can you try to push against my hands and lift your legs? Okay, thank you very much. The nurse evaluates the user's lower limb mobility by looking at both sides simultaneously. Okay, there's one last thing for me to check. Um, can you please remove your glasses or can I, I can do it for yeah, you? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you look straight ahead? I will shine a light uh, in your eyes. Just look straight ahead. Thank you. The last part of the neurological assessment is to test the pupillary reflex. The nurse uses a light and passes it in front of the pupils one after the other. She assesses the dilation of the right and left pupils in bright light. She notes the size of the pupils and the speed of the pupillary reaction on each side. Okay, um, so this morning we will try to eat through your mouth again. Oh. So how, how do you feel about it? Oh, I'm afraid to choke. Don't worry, I'll be here with you through the entire meal, all right? Oh, okay, thank you. I'll just go grab everything. Yeah. During this assessment, the nurse ensures that she has verified the functional suction system, 
in order to be able to quickly intervene if the user chokes on her food. Asking for the user's perception of the interventions to come is a way for the nurse to detect any discomfort or anxiety and to reassure the user about the course of events. Okay, uh, we're going to sit you up. Just use your left side to sit up. I will help you. Uh, this? Yes, let me help you. Let me know if you're uncomfortable. Let me grab another one. You'll be more comfortable like this. How does it feel? A bit lower? Always use the healthier side for support. That, yeah, that's good. Okay. In this case, since the user has a tendency to lean on her right side, the nurse will place pillows under her affected arm and against her right side to maintain the position during the meal. When feeding a person with dysphagia, it is essential to place the head of the bed at a 90 degree angle to reduce the risk of choking. Okay, we're going to start by swallowing just your saliva. Can you just swallow it down? Yeah. So, it's okay? No yeah. problem? Yeah. All right. Um, okay, can you please drink this bit of water in one go and swallow everything? Okay. Uh, Very good. Uh, All right. Can you say ah? Uh, ah. Uh, okay. uh, the nurse asks the client to make the ah uh sound to assess whether the user's voice is wet. She will also note whether or not the user was able to drink the entire 90 milliliters without pausing. The nurse will have the user repeat this sequence three times for a total of 270 milliliters of water. For the purposes of this video, let's consider that the user drank the 90 milliliters of water three times. Can you please talk to me about something you enjoy doing? I like to knit. Okay. Yeah. 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 So what's your specialty? Well. I like to knit sweaters. Okay. Yeah, I really make nice sweaters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. If the user has Can dysphonia, a wet voice, yeah, a cough, a dyspnea, okay. and increased respiratory rate, cyanosis, or was unable to drink the 90 milliliters of water in one go, yes. there is a high chance of dysphagia. If none of the symptoms were observed by the nurse, then the likelihood that the user is suffering from dysphagia is low. So we can start with a spoonful of oatmeal now. Everything is fine. Just please use your, the left side of your mouth to chew. Okay, I'll try. I'm staying right here. Okay, I'll try. Good. Since the user has hemiplegia caused by her stroke, the nurse asks her to use her healthy side to chew in order to reduce the risk of choking. Very yeah. good. So? Yeah. It was okay? Yeah. All right, can you please open up? I'm going to look inside your mouth. Thank you. The nurse asks the user to open her mouth to see if there is any residual food in her mouth after swallowing. So there is no food left, so you can keep eating. I'm staying right here. The nurse will remain at the client's bedside until the end of the meal to monitor her closely. She will implement meal supervision for the next few days to ensure that all meals go smoothly. She will time. record this information in the nursing care okay. and treatment plan as well as in the user's so therapeutic nursing plan. In addition, at the end of the meal, since the user has symptoms which may affect her ability to eat, it's important to perform mouth care and to maintain a sitting position for 30 minutes after each meal. It is important to remember that if the user isn't able to swallow, then she has to be given an NPO status, which would indicate that she should not ingest anything orally until further notice.